Hey everybody, welcome to Northern Lion Tries Dungeon Cards. Steam Labs picked this one out. They with the laser focus, they said this is for you. It is a minimalistic $5 roguelite dungeon crawler, not deck builder, but with card mechanics in one way or another. Uh, so I said, how could I not check this out? It came out on January 20th, somehow slipped under the radar while I was complaining about there being nothing to play. Let's see what's going on here in Dungeon Cards. And I mean, the names don't get much simpler than that. Tutorial 1 of 6. This is your card, a hero with 10 of 10 HP and I'm assuming 3 attack. You can move up, down, left or right by tapping adjacent cards. Okay, let's hit a skeleton, if you don't mind. If you clash with a monster, your card will lose some health. Okay. Other cards will heal you, give you gold, or have other effects. Long press on a card to get information about it. Tap on a card to hit it. So this, based on the portrait uh, orientation of the picture, I'm also assuming this is a, a mobile release as well as being a Steam release. Collect as much gold as you can. The treasure hunt is on. Okay, I've destroyed you. Gold coin. Recharges powers by one, a line of coins turns into gems. Ooh, really? So you're telling me if I create a line of coins, they get stronger. So I'm, I'm not sure what's up with this flamethrower here, so why don't we look at blue potion. Heals character over time, heals poison. So let's get poison. I know this seems strange. Kill fly. Get fire wand. Cure our poison. And look at that. Now the match three element, I don't think is going to do very well for us. What the heck does this mean? You could turn your fire wand into a coin? What, what's a, what does a red potion do? Heals character, removes poison. Okay, that makes sense. Um, so let's get red potion, which I thought it would cause this to fall, actually. Kill skeleton. I will pick up the coin. It doesn't bother me. I will kill the skeleton. That just gives us a coin. I thought maybe it would turn the space into a coin, but that's alright. We will attack a boar and take some damage. Open a good chest. Yo! We've done it. Ruby. Recharges powers by three. I don't know what that means. But we'll get it regardless. So the goal, remember, is to get as much treasure as possible. I don't want to attack you. I will attack a fly. I will break a flamethrower. The flamethrower will also attack units around us. Okay. Empty space. Such a thing is possible. Grab the coin. Vampire sword. Can I see what you do? Heals character after each hit and absorbs ice damage. So as of right now, I feel essentially unkillable. Um, I may well be the strongest creature in any video game ever made. I'm, ba I'm just picking up loot and selling it. We're picking up poison. We're healing ourselves. Let's see what this sword does. Deals damage to enemies. Oh, no way. I would never would have thought. I, I'll tell you that as of right now, I'm like, how do we lose this? Uh, everything I click on, oh, watch out for that. Okay, well, that's one way to potentially lose. Everything I click on dies uh, as soon as I click on it. And there's so many potions around that it's like, we're just crushing it. I mean, I'm making mistakes. I'm even just walking into skeletons. Could we walk into spider webs like Gwen Stefani? Excuse me, three damage? Well, we gotta find a way out of here. There's one way to do it. Don't break the chest. Poison wand, go ahead. All right, now I'm realizing. Have I, have I truly gotten myself into a, a terrible situation? <laughs> There's a lot of enemies left on the board. Power unlocked. I'm gonna tell you right out the gate. I don't know what that means. So I think this means we have nine turns. Oh, it has uh, like piercing. Nine, nine turns of healing left? No? 
These are your powers. You can select up to three. Every power has a counter. Counter goes down when you collect gold or rubies. Oh, so we'll heal. Yeah, when that goes to zero, we'll heal. I see. Zombie with a mask. Okay, we gotta be real cautious, obviously. Very low on HP. Now we're very high on HP. It had to be done. The cactus is following us. It's alright, I'm unafraid. Oh, you love to see that. If we can use the, the traps to kill an enemy, I'll be a happy man. Character unlocked as well. Let's go. Okay, so the zombie... I'm really... Look, I'm trying to find the extra complexity here. Like, I understand that it is minimalistic. What the heck happened there? He's trying to steal my coin, dude! Under no circumstances. Look at this. I'm, I'm hoping that at some point we find kind of like a greater level of strategy. Because I will admit that... For now, it's striking me as being fairly simplistic. Which is not necessarily a bad thing in and of itself, but... I struggle to see, at this point, how we would lose with so many healing options, you know what I mean? I did see... Go ahead and take the poison. Yeah, because I wanted to create some rubies. Okay, Cthulhu, are you the boss? Look at this, okay. You're, you've, you've hit mad genius levels. Take the fire wand. Smack. Take the coin. Go poison first. Why? Because we have a full potion there. Full send. Excuse me, I'm just trying to get to a position where Cthulhu himself can be killed by the, uh... Bat with a healing potion. <laughs> he can be killed by maybe the traps that he finds, but... He's been hit. Yeah, yeah, I know. Um... Like, I'll just be honest with you, I kind of feel like I'm... Like I'm missing something so far. I mean, I just killed the Eldritch Lord himself. Ah, now we got a problem, don't we? Or do we? We're gonna die to poison, I think. We did not die to poison. We did not die to... I guess our poison timer expired? I apologize for the fact that I seem confused right now. But the reason I seem confused is because I am a little bit confused. Like, as of right now, I, I feel like there's no chance for me to possibly fail. So I, I'm like, why don't you just eat me out of this, take me back to the menu. Let's see what we got for powers. Heals character. Damages all enemies. And none of these other ones are unlocked. Select three powers, okay. I will add a second power at least. Knight has no special talents, but he has a lot of health. Mage. Absorbs fire damage, finds only wands, and does not damage good cards with magic. Okay. I, I select you. Let, let's see if there's some greater strategy on the level 2 here. So wands, I believe, mean that we don't get hit. But they have a, a certain number of damage that they can do before they expire. So I think if we pick this up, it will replace the fire wand, I think. But if you stack multiple wands, I think you, you add more charges. So for now, we're just going to try to keep one wand at all times. At least until... Oh, you, this guy's getting so much stronger. I mean, we got to take care of him at some point. He's still getting stronger. Probably best to kill him as soon as possible. He stole my gold. How dare you, sir. 
I'm also, I'm not very stunned, or sorry, excuse me, I'm not very stoked that there's a, uh, a Cthulhu. Does only have 8 HP, but still, you know, it's like, it's the thought that counts. And right now I'm thinking that it would be nice if, uh, he's done it. Uh, that Cthulhu maybe waited a minute before he got on my case. So grab the wand. It only did three damage, which we should have accepted, or expected, I should say. We kind of just have to deal with this one. Did we, we did do damage to all enemies. Okay, grab the ice wand, kill the Cthulhu. Open the chest. Poison wand. Gold coin. So I think we want to... I don't really want the poison wand, to be honest, but I think if we want treasure, the way that we want to do this is turn our wand into gold, grab the poison wand to move this over, hit the ghost. Hit the ghost again, but it's, you know, obviously didn't necessarily go fantastically. Oh, you're a fire elemental, so yeah, that makes sense. I have no means of getting out of this without spending a coin. Thank you for the red potion. Don't steal my coin, brother. I'm still trying to... <laughs> I feel like something is lost on me. But maybe it's just because I've, I've played so many roguelites uh, that endeavor to kill you right away. That playing a roguelite that doesn't try to kill you within the first, like, 30 seconds that you boot up the game. It feels like a, a very foreign concept. But I will say for now, I'm, I'm not really struggling too much here. I am struggling uh, to create a line of gold coins. That much is, is indisputable. But perhaps one day... <laughs> We may experience true greatness. It doesn't even... Uh, when we get another uh, of the same type of wand, it doesn't add to our... to the wand that we presently had. He's done it! Okay, so grab this. Grab this. Grab this. All enemies took some damage. Gold coin. Without a weapon, I don't really love doing this, but it's okay. It's an ice elemental. I dare not attack you. Except via those means. He's done it again. I will say, though, I'm not really getting, like, the... You know the Legend of Bumbo style of, uh... Dopamine release when you like make a combo that you previously didn't thought you could make Oh the small one I'm not picking that up just yet uh, We got a punch Now we find ourselves in a, in a very delicate situation I'm starting to see where the difficulty can present itself, though. You know, as we ignore more and more enemies... Obviously, the arena fills up with more and more enemies. It becomes tougher to uh, ignore them. You know, the, the areas through which we can actually escape become substantially smaller thank you for moving blue potion down but again i still feel like we're not really struggling to, to put up like a score of any sort here we are gonna have to find some means with which to kill the small one there's four damage dealt to him uh dynamite is ticking down brother just get the heck out of town Oh, now we're talking. <laughs> All right, I don't know how much this guy hits for. Only one, no big deal then. Everything 
takes a little damage. Oh, no. oh you just blasted yourself in the face, dummy. Shuffle. Sure, why not? I mean, all I'm going to say right now is one of two things is happening. The game might be a little bit easier than I expected. Or, alternatively, you're witnessing the first ever game I've ever played. Gives gold. Satisfying, I'll admit. Um, you're witnessing the first ever experience in my entire video game career of me recognizing that I'm now an esports level athlete in a game. Took my gold immediately, dude. And I'll level with you. I never thought it would happen. You can take him. And yet here we are. Setting new world records and only losing when we choose to end. Bat with a healing potion? I will I will I don't know, do I have to kill you with like a ranged weapon to get you to drop your potion? Is that what's happening there? No no no. We don't attack you yet. Now we attack you. Maybe we should stop opening bad chests when things are already spiced. Well, we'll kill Cthulhu. Power unlocked. Let's go. I will say it is starting to become more difficult. I know we're only on the second dungeon as well. I need some gold coins, please. Um, uh... Yeah, we're dead. I don't know. I just feel like I'm sort of... Sort of missing on the strategy. It just sort of felt like I played until I died. Now, again, I want to point out this is a minimalistic dungeon crawler uh, roguelite card base game that is $5 on Steam and also appears to be designed for mobile in the first place. So you expect a certain level of strategic minimalism to some extent. Um... I'm still waiting on that, like, click moment where I really feel like I, I'm starting to understand the strategy as it comes into play. But we're going to give it one more try. Weapon buff. Increases active weapon damage. Max value equals character health times two. I mean, we might as well equip it. We have 1,500 gold. Get a high score of 1,500 to unlock the Viking. Okay, so obviously, like, some of these... There's a lot of characters that... I have not yet gotten to experience. <laughs> what, what about upgrading, though? It starts with a little bit more HP. Alright, let's go to powers then, and maybe we can upgrade our healing power. It's got greater strength. Greater strength, lower reload. Greater strength. We'll give it one more try here on Dungeon 2. So we have 7 damage slash durability first. Now we have five. I don't know if that was the right play then. Can you stop stealing my gold, dude? Okay, go. here's how you do it. Good chest, sword into gold. Poison wand, easy smack, and he'll take damage over time. Now start walking away. Kill this fly. You kill the fly, you walk away. I don't really want to kill the stump yet. We'll just kill the cactus. And look at that. We made some dang rubies, dude. This guy's still poisoned. We're starting to get it. So we've got a stronger weapon now as a result. Oh, he's not poisoned any longer. We'll kill him. Okay, I feel like I'm starting to pick up on it. Just admittedly, very slightly... Free jellyfish kill. Bad chest. Does not bother me. Dodge that bomb. Look at that. I don't know if it was a good idea, but I did what I wanted to do, and that's new for me. <laughs> In this game, at least. Okay. Gold coin? Oh, baby, look at the strats coming out. All right, this run, I'm starting to pick something up. I'm starting to pick up a little bit of 
a little bit of strategy is finally coming to pass for me here. I'm just going to accept that we're going to lose this coin to the goblin. It is what it is. I don't really want to get the blue potion yet. I'd rather, rather fight for it. We heal over time for a little bit. We do need a weapon. Okay, four is perfect. Easy kill. Don't really want to open a bad chest. I'll accept some HP loss from time to time. I'll accept some HP loss from time to time. We need a weapon. It's okay. Still have heals. I don't think this will kill you. But it will at least hurt you. Now we've only got a couple of choices here. Here's I got an idea now. Now I got the strat I think to some extent. We'll go down to 1 HP. But we'll get this gold coin. Which will heal us. It's not a lot. But it's more than we had before. And now we've backed ourselves into a corner. Obviously can't attack you or we'll be killed. Instead we'll open you up. And I think we'll swap. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's following me, brother. I don't, I don't know how we're getting out of here. We're not. <laughs> okay, but I was starting to feel it. I was starting to feel it on that one, and I got what I deserved for suggesting that it was too easy. All right, so I'll admit I was kind of like down here for a little bit on uh, how I felt about dungeon cards on that final run. Ironically, the worst run of all, I was like, okay, I'm starting to pick up on it a little bit. I don't think this is going to be everybody's cup of tea, and honestly, I think I need a little bit more time with it to actually understand... I mean, I think... Let me put it this way. It's, I'm not suggesting it's like a mediocre game. All I'm saying is I think this is the kind of game where I need a little bit more time in it to figure out how to have fun. Some games, you're like, I press the A button and an explosion happens. It's hilarious. This one, I'm like, okay, it took me a little bit of just... Interfacing with the mechanics to start to understand, but once I started to understand, I think I was getting there a little bit. Time will tell. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Click the like button if you enjoyed the episode. You can check out Dungeon Cards for yourself on Steam. I will put a link in the video description below. Again, it's five bucks. Thanks for watching. And if you hate seeing roguelites, I apologize. But I'll see you next time. See ya!